Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Sandy Toe Tarot. My name is Laura and I'm super excited to be here today. I'm gonna do another yes or no pick a card reading. These are really popular and I like them too. So I do have four piles down here that we'll talk about later you can pick from. For any questions that you might have that can be answered with a yes or no. But first, I do want to talk about a special that I'm running for personal readings for the month of June. I'm having a sizzling summer sale. So for the month of June, I'm offering readings for uh, personal readings, 20 minutes for $20. I can do those on WhatsApp or Zoom. If you want to find out how to get a personal re reading with me, you can go to sandytoetarot.com. And there, uh, it, there'll be instructions on how to get in contact with me and how to request a personal reading. So, for the month of June, I will offer personal readings, uh, 20 minutes for $20, and those will be interactive readings on Zoom or WhatsApp. So, if you would like to get a personal reading, if you've never done it before, if you never had a, a tarot reading, this is a good opportunity to just check it out and see if it might be something that you're interested in. So if you are interested in a personal reading, do contact me at sandytoetarot.com. Um, as always, thank you for supporting the channel. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know of anybody else that might be interested in uh, this channel, please do share uh, the videos with other people or if they might be interested in this particular video or the channel in general, please feel free to share the video with someone else. And as always, uh, subscribing really helps the channel. So please do subscribe if you wish and hit that bell so that you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. And I do that twice a week. I put these free videos out on YouTube. I take great comfort in knowing that if someone needs a personal reading and they cannot afford one, one, the information will come through to them in these free readings that I put out on YouTube. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the yes or no pick a card for today. I'll put the camera down so you can decide which of the piles is speaking to you and which of the piles will answer your question. And as for the personal readings, I'll put the information again for that uh, probably someplace in the video, maybe at the end, and I'll also put it in the description box down below. So if you do want to try out a personal reading, June would be a great month for you to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put the camera down and we'll go ahead and get started on this week's yes or no pick a card. Okay guys, as always, four seems to be the magic number for pick a cards for me. I kinda like to do four. Um, for this particular pick a card, which is timeless by the way, whenever you find this video, that means it's the right time for you to find it. I have on pile one, I have the peacock uh, feathered bead. On pile two, I have a seashell. On pile three, I have a piece of sea glass. And on pile four, I have an earth stone. So let's talk about that. You can, there are so many ways that you can pick the pile that's speaking to you. You can uh, maybe close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. And then whenever you open your eyes, whichever pile you're drawn to, that will be the pile that will answer your yes or no question. You can uh, just visually take a look down here and see which one is like popping out at you. Or you can go with uh, something a little more scientific. So there's a reason that I put these particular things on the, on the piles. Okay, so for pile one, feathers represent air signs. So I, on pile one, I have this um, peacock feather, feathered bead. Air signs are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So if you were one of those, you might wanna pick that pile. Maybe not, by the way, this is just another option. On pile two, I have the seashell, which rep represents water signs, and the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. On pile three, I have the glass, which represents fire signs, and the fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And on pile four, I have the earth stone, which uh, 
uh, represents Tor Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Those are the earth signs. So as just, I said, that is just another option for how to pick the pile that's speaking to you. Uh, it, you may choose uh, the charm that represents your sign. You may choose the charm that represents um, another sign, someone that you're involved with. However you wanna do it, I just wanted to throw that out there as another option. So go ahead, if you're ready, go ahead and choose the pile that's speaking to you and the pile that you think is going to answer your yes or no question. And I'll get started with pile one. As always, I will have the timestamps down in the description box. So if you want to, you can just go directly to the uh, reading for the pile that you've chosen. Okay, if you chose pile one with the peacock feather bead, these are gonna be your messages for the yes or no pick a card. We'll start with the oracle card, the uh, sacred traveler oracle card, and that is answering the call, the time is now. That's beautiful. For the t uh, guidance from spirit, these are two of the herbal tarots. We'll save those for later. And for the Rider Waite Tarot, we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Hermit card. And we have the Ten of Swords. So, just in general, I'm going to say that this is a yes. The time is now. Uh, so, that to me just generally says that this pile is a yes, whatever your question was. Um, there's, there's a message here. Uh, it's, very, it's very clear there is a message. So, the Hermit card is a Major Arcana card. It is the number nine in the Major Arcana. Number nines are always endings. So this card and this card right here are both indicating to me that something is coming to an end in your life. But the Kermit, Hermit, <laughs> Kermit, Kermit the Hermit, that would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? But the uh, Hermit card is a card of going within. So, um, so what this card is saying is you need to take a little bit of time and go within to figure out what your next steps are going to be to figure out what you really want, but you, uh, you need to follow the guidance, the inner guidance, the guidance from within. And then once you decide the direction that you wanna take, you can use this bright light that you've discovered in your time of reflection, you can use this to help other people. The 10 of swords, I call this the stick a fork in me, I'm done card. Um, I'll just tell you, I got this card a few days ago. I went to work. I had no intentions of quitting my job on that day. <laughs> and I did. I Seriously, it was, it was surprising to me. Uh, it had been a long time coming for sure, but it, it was just some things happened on that particular day that made me feel exactly like this. Stick a fork in me, I am done. I cannot do this any longer. This is not a healthy environment for me. Um, I, I, at this point, I don't care what you think uh, of me in any way, I have to take care of myself. So this is, uh, a card of ending something in your life that is not good for you at all. See all these uh, swords in this guy's back? He has been through it with this situation. It could be a she. He or she has been through it with this situation. It is over for them. And um, the good news is that you see the sunshine sh coming or lurking in the background. Yes, it's a little dark right now. Yes, things are 
uh, do not seem to be going so well. Um, endings are kind of hard sometimes, but this is a necessary ending. And uh, I will say also, sometimes endings are not hard. Sometimes endings are, once you pull the trigger and say, okay, that's it, I'm done, you do kind of get a sigh of relief and you start looking forward to what's coming next on the horizon. So this is what's coming next on the horizon. Is that not beautiful? Is that not everything that you've been dreaming of? Is that not absolute abundance in your life? Abundance in all things, abundance in relationships, abundance in money, abundance in um, health, abundance in love, just an absolute abundance. And this is definitely actually can be a beginning of a relationship too. But whatever this is that's become, coming into your life, this abundance, this love, this uh, new beginning. Aces are always new beginnings, right? It is coming from the hand of God. God's hand is in this. So uh, congratulations. This is a wonderful card. So let's see if we get any advice from Spirit. I will say that this is actually pretty good advice. Uh, you're being called to do something and the time is now and you may have to let something go before you can uh, uh, embark on this new adventure that's coming in for you. Um, so that is really very clear, but let's see if we get any additional advice from Spirit on this um, from the turbo, Herbal Tarot. So what we have here is the Eight of Swords. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to put this this way because it's uh, seven, eight, the Seven, Eight progression. So the Seven of Pentacles is a card of, I've been working really hard at something. I've reached a natural place to take a rest, to stop and take a look at what I've done so far and to make a decision about whether I wanna move forward or not. Uh, this probably has something to do with work. Pinnacles usually mean money, finances, however you make your living. It could be a creative project though. Um, something It's just something that you've been working on and you've reached a natural place to uh, take a bit of a break and decide whether you want to continue with it or not. The Eight of Swords is a interesting card. Mm. It's usually not a very pleasant card, but I will say with the rest of the cards that you've got here, it's okay. But what it means is, uh, I feel kind of stuck. I feel like all this treachery is around me. All these swords are around me. Um, I can't see my way through. He is actually blindfolded in this card. Um, I feel like I don't have any options. Um, but if you, these, he's tied, he is tied up, but these are very, very loose ties he could get himself out of this situation if he wants to. Also, all he has to do is take that blindfold off and he will see that the swords are not all around him, right? They're not all around him. He, he thinks they are, but there is a way through right there. So I think um, this, in this hermit time, um, I think that you are looking at this situation that you're in, that you feel kind of stuck in. Um, I feel like it's something that you might have been working toward for a long time. You feel like you have to stay. You feel a little stuck, but you do feel like you've worked so hard. Why, you know, why would I quit now? I've worked so hard, um, but, this is saying you're stuck. You're not, it's not a, I've worked so hard. I see the finish line. I'm very excited to, after this little bit of rest, to take this back up and finish this project. That's not what's happening here. What's happening here is you're a little bit afraid. You're, 
you've worked hard at this project or this job or whatever it is to get where you're at, you are at a little bit of a place that you can take a rest um, and, you know, breathe for a minute and uh, consider what you want to, whether you want to go forward. And in this particular reading, what this is saying is this is not a good energy. You feel stuck. It's not like, yeah, I've worked hard. I'm still excited about it. I want to move forward with it. It's I've worked hard. I'm a little bit afraid of doing something different. Um, and I, though I feel stuck in this situation, there is a little bit of security here. So what this reading here is telling you is, uh, let it go. It's done. You're, you, you, you've gone as far as you can with this. It's hard sometimes. It's, it's, it's really hard, especially if you've put, poured your heart and soul into something. You really wanted it to work out. Uh, but what this is saying, it's not going to, and it's not supposed to, because there's another calling for you out there. There's something else for you out there. It's something that's much deeper. You have to go within to find it. It's much deeper. It's much more beautiful. Um, but if you have the courage to let this go, then this new life comes in, and what a beautiful life it's going to be. So that's all I had for pile one. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And please do get in touch with me at sandytotero.com if you're interested in that $20 uh, special for personal readings this month in the month of June. Have a great week and namaste. Okay, guys, if you chose pile two, these are going to be your messages. Hopefully, we will get a clear yes or no for your question here. And as a reminder, pile two had the seashell on it. So let's see we got, what we got for the Sacred Traveler Oracle card. Wow. We got Wondrous Universe, Walk in Beauty. It's a gorgeous card. Look, it's a wizard, magician, wizard, whatever it is. So the Herbal Tarot cards, that's advice from spirit. We'll hold off on that for a minute. And then we'll look at the Rider Waite cards that we got. For this pile, we got the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Fool card. And we got the King of Pentacles. So first of all, I want to say that if you chose this pile, the answer is absolutely yes. Wondrous uh, universe and walk in beauty with this wizard right here. It's almost like your wish is my command. You got the wizard on your side making things happen for you. So this is absolutely a yes. But I think there's uh, maybe a message in here for an individual message in here for somebody. So... Um, Here's what we got. We got the Queen of Pentacles. This is the uh, Minor Arcana for Aquarius. So the Queen of Pentacles is a woman who has everything that she can possibly need. If you notice, she's in a very lush environment. She has everything that she needs in the way of material things. She's um, a good mother. She's uh, a good businesswoman. She's got it all, pretty much. We have the Queen of Pentacles on one side, and we have the King of Pentacles on the other side. And the King of Pentacles is the minor arcana card for a Gemini. Um, Gemini is a water, is an air sign. So is uh, Aquarius. These are both air signs, and air signs are mental, communicative, and idealistic. But uh, if it's not a Gemini, then the King of Pentacles is an older gentleman who uh, is the king of his domain. He's doing very well financially, as you can see. He's very good with money. Um, he has everything that he needs in the way of material things. But, honestly, I'm not necessarily sure that either one of those two meanings, if you want to use the astrological meanings or if you want to 
uh, use like the general meanings for the people cards in this particular instance. What, how I'm reading this in this particular reading is this is just a couple. This is a amazing couple. This is a couple, I mean, when you have the queen and king of the same suit, that means that's a good, that's a good match right there. Um, these particular, this particular couple looks like they might be just very grounded and practical and stable people. But that means to me, this particular relationship is very grounded and very practical and very stable. In between that, you have the full card. So the full represents, um, it is the only zero in the tarot deck. And the zero represents all it is, including all potential or infinite possibility. That's what the zero means. So the, the major arcana cards, if you look at them in total, it is like a fool's journey. It is uh, the milestones that people hit in their life. It is things that happen on this journey through life. Well, the major arcana cards start with the full. So this is the beginning. And if you notice, he is, he's on a journey, he's on an adventure. He doesn't have very much with him. He has, a, he's carrying a sack. Um, he's got a flower in his hand, which to me represents hope for the future that the venture is gonna turn out okay. And he's only taken his faithful companion here, his trusty dog with him. And that's all he's taken. He doesn't know where he's going. He doesn't know how he's going to get there. He doesn't know which uh, direction to necessarily go in yet. He, but he does have faith that the journey is going to be worth it. So he is ready to take a leap of faith. This card is taking a leap of faith and uh, jumping out into the unknown. So these cards here, this couple... Um, with the full in the middle, this kind of tells me that this is a relationship. And I think it is a new relationship or it's a new beginning in a relationship. And it's striking out into the unknown. And that makes me think it's a new relationship because you're striking out into the unknown. Um, you don't necessarily know how it's gonna turn out but you're absolutely up for the adventure and you this couple together you guys are going to discover the wondrous universe this is really this is a really good yes if your question was about some kind of relationship so let's see what the advice from spirit is we have the four of cups and we have the hermit card. Let's talk about the hermit card first. So the hermit is a nine in the major arcana, but the hermit talks about a time when you need to go within and you need to discover the answers within yourself. It's like taking a time out away from people, kind of going in your cave a little bit, um, kind of being on your own because you have something to mull over. You have, uh, it's just like a time of rest, of contemplating on your own. The Four of Cups, cups are emotions, they're relationships, they're love. Uh, so we get this card when we're in a period of dissatisfaction, like nothing is appealing at all. You have options, but none of them are appealing to you. There's three cups down here. These are options for you. And then there's a fourth cup that's coming in. And if you notice, the fourth cup has the hand of God in it. It's God that's offering you something here. But this woman is just sitting down looking really dissatisfied at all of these cups and thinking, I don't know. I don't know if these cups really appeal for, to me at all. Even this one that seems to be uh, given from the hand of God, I just don't know. 
So what I think all this advice is saying is, um, okay, you have this amazing relationship here that is on offer to you. It is coming into you. It is absolutely the unknown. You don't know how it's going to go, but two people could not be more compatible. You want to take some time out and think about it. You don't know. You're thinking, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell if this is going to work out or not. I don't know if I want to put myself out there. I need to take some time out to think about it, to go by myself off into the cave and contemplate this a little bit and follow my inner light and uh, uh, follow the guidance from within. That's really what I need to do because um, I'm just not sure. But here's what I think. I think this is just where you're at right now. I think a lot of people are here right now. We're just kind of in the blahs a little bit. What's been happening in the world in the last few months uh, with the COVID-19 and everything. You know, we all get here, by the way, in this place of just a little dissatisfied, not, you know, not sure what to do, not in the doldrums. I, w I wouldn't say depressed. This is not full-blown depression. It's just a little bit of uh, nothing, nothing excites me right now. Um, so I think the warning is this is you. This is not this. This is w your state of mind. This is not what is being offered here. I think what the advice is saying is do whatever you can to get out of this first. You do not need to go in and contemplate. You don't. The reason you're tempted to do that is because of this state of mind that you're in, a little bit of blah. Um, I think actually what this reading is saying is do take this leap of faith because this does not get any it, uh, compatibility wise. I'm, who knows if it's going to work out or not, but it sure is an amazing opportunity to jump off into an adventure with somebody that is very compatible with you and go discover the wonders of the universe together with this person. So as far as advice, and this is personal advice, um, find, do something this week that gets you out of this. This, this needs to happen first. And that can be just putting on a, some music that motivates you. It can be dancing around the house. It can be, uh, do you like to play sports? Is there a sport that you could go play? You know what that thing is. That whenever you get a little bit down, if you do this thing, you're going to be, you're going to feel better. It's going to lift your spirits. So therefore, it'll put you in a better position to make the decision to make this decision, to go for this, to embark on this adventure, because this is the right, this is the, yeah, this is the yes right here. This is the right direction to go in. At least follow this and see where it heads. Like I said, it may not be a forever thing, but it sure is an amazing adventure. And you don't want to miss out on that because you're just a little bit blah right now. So take care of this first, take care of you, Find something that shakes you out of your stupor that you're in. Um, go shopping. Eat banana ice cream. I don't know. Whatever it is that you know. Everybody has that thing that they know. If I do this, it's going to make me feel better. So find that thing. Get in the right frame of mind so that you can explore this. And the wondrous universe. That's pretty cool. So that's all I had for pile two. I hope you guys have a great week and uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Namaste. Okay, welcome back. So if you chose pile three with the sea glass on it, representing the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, these are gonna be your cards and your messages. And hopefully I will get a very clear yes or no for your question. So for the Sacred Traveler Oracle card, we have Distant Thunder, Clear the Air. 
The herbal tarot is advice from spirit, so we'll hold on to that for a minute. For the Rider weight, we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Emperor card. And we have the Seven of Wands. So for pile three, I'm getting a definite maybe. <laughs> that kind of sucks, right? So here's the thing. This distant thunder looks like a storm is a brewing to me, which would automatically indicate a no. But these cards kind of lighten that up a little bit. And actually, this particular card, the Seven of Wands, which is the card of holding, holding your position, it says that there's a lot of pressure for you not to uh, take the stance that you're taking. There's a lot of pressure for you to succumb to someone else's way of looking at things uh, and this card says don't do it hold hold your own hold your position the six of Pentacles is the card of reciprocity if you notice there's a gentleman here who's all decked out in red very majestic maybe even this guy right the Emperor he has everything that he could possibly need. He's a very affluent man, and uh, he is actually giving uh, to the two beggars that are in the street, the two poverty-stricken poverty men. He is giving money to them. Pinnacles are, are, are coins. They're, it's wealth. It's material things. So... This card means that you are either coming into a situation where you will be asked to help someone else or you will be helped by someone else financially. So the Emperor card is the very, it's the card of Aries, by the way. Um, it is a very masculine card the Emperor is like above all the Kings right the Kings are mastery but the Emperor has mastered it all he has gone out into the world and he has conquered it um, it's not been easy he is the Emperor because he has defeated all of his enemies it was it's a hard one victory but he is the king of his domain. He is the, the one that everybody goes to. Wait a minute. I think I know what this means. I think this is a no. Actually, I said it was a maybe, but I think this is a no. And here's why. It just it just it just dawned on me. Sometimes that happens. Um you're being asked for money. Someone is coming to you for to help them in some kind of financial situation. Maybe they want to be a partner, maybe they uh, um just need money. That, you know, people have been out of work for a while. Um, so they just might need some help. But this card right here, the Distant Thunder, uh, kind of means don't do it. There's a storm of brewing. Like, uh, now's not a good time for you to be giving money either to this person or just for you personally. Unfortunately, it, it seems like there might be, though you have everything that you need right now, the economy is unsure, it's not very stable. Um, 
so this is not the best time to help other people as much as you want to. It's just not a good time. So uh, it's gonna be hard for you to, to do this. It's gonna be hard for you to say no to this person because it's somebody you love, I think. It's somebody that ordinarily you would have no problem giving them money. And there's gonna be a little bit of pressure for you to not hold that position. When you say no, they're gonna, there's gonna be some pressure. Maybe it's your own internal guilt Maybe it's, um, maybe that they are actually uh, pressuring you like with evidence of why they need the money. So there is gonna be a little bit of pressure, uh, but this card is saying don't, don't do it. It's just, you just can't, you can't. So the answer has to be no. So let's see if we can get some advice here from Spirit. So we got the Two of Cups. Uh, and we got the Eight of Wands. Uh, so the Two of Cups is a partnership. It is uh, twos are decisions, but this is a, a love. This is a love. This is a partnership. It's somebody you love. Um, the Eight of Wands is new energy and inspiration coming in, uh, and a lot of it. Uh, it's a time of new ideas coming in all at the same time. It's like just a ton of ideas coming to you. So this is a good, this is a great card um, for this kind of situation where things are a little weird right now. There are new ideas that are going to come to you that will help you help this person without uh, giving them the money that they're going to be asking for because you love them like it may be a love partner it could be somebody you've considered a partner in crime your whole life uh, maybe a brother uh, maybe a sister uh, someone that you love very dearly and again I would say under ordinary circumstances you would absolutely give this person money it's not about that it's about it's not a good time for you personally to do it unfortunately but here's uh, some good news there's going to be new ideas coming in for ways that you can help this person without hurting yourself financially so I'm sorry that took a bit to come around to but uh, that is the answer the answer is no and that is a very specific message for whoever chose pile three um, so I hope you enjoyed the reading and I hope you have a great week namaste Okay, you guys, if you chose pile four with the earth stone, these are your messages. Hopefully we can get a yes or no for your question. The first card we have from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck is transformation. A fresh new way of living emerges. That's beautiful. So the herbal tarot we'll put down here. Those are the messages from our advice from spirit that we'll look at in here in a minute. For the Rider Waite tarot, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. Oh wow! And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. Uh, it's funny that this, all these pinnacles should come out on the earth stone. Pinnacles are like material things, um, money, houses, cars, food, clothing, shelter, jobs, uh, investments. Um, so I think this is a yes, you guys. I think it's a yes. I think it has something to do with money. I think it has actually something to do, since it says transfer transformation and there's a new way of living that emerges I think this Knight of Pentacles Knights are always uh, bringing something into your life right I think there's a new job coming at less at least a new way of making a living this Pentacles are I will say slow moving energy so um, 
it, this is something that's not it's not going to be winning the lottery thing but it is going to be a new way for you to make a financial future and as a result uh, a living um, so this is the three of Pentacles and the three of Pentacles if you notice these guys are down in the basement of the church uh, this is like the leader this is the person probably that has the idea for uh, ways to make money threes are beginnings of creative ideas and he's talking to what looks like might be the bishop and then uh, another person I'm not sure who these these people are that he's talking to but he's laying out his plans to these other two people for uh, an idea that will bring financial abundance and this is the promise of abundance too it says that it's gonna work whatever your plan is it's a good plan but there's a little bit of a warning in this card you want to keep your idea to just the few people just the few people that need to know the information if you tell too many people something might happen that might ruin it for example, if you're if you have a creative idea, you cannot you cannot copyright an idea. So, if you have an idea for something to do, if you tell too many people, a word might get out. Someone might take that idea and run with it before you have a chance to get your idea off the ground. There's nothing you can do about that, right? So, just keep it to the people. Keep the information about your idea. To make money to the very few people that need to know about it and the will of fortune absolutely does both things it promises success this is this is huge success with this venture this is huge success with this new job or this money-making idea the will of fortune. how much better confirmation can you get that this is this is a good money making idea here. Whatever this is, this is a good good. It's gonna work. It is gonna bring you great fortune. Let's remember that fortune is not necessarily just finances, but in this particular case, it does seem to be. And um, there's a timing thing here to remember too. Um, the will is turning in your favor. And as I said, um, the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving energy. So when the time is right, this is going to take off. Uh, but it's divine timing. But the wheel is definitely turning in your favor. Fortune will smile on you in this uh, endeavor here. It's absolutely gonna work. It's absolutely a great idea. Let's see if we can get any advice from Spirit for how to move forward. Oh, okay. So we got the full and we got the queen of wands. Okay. So what this tells me is, um, I don't know that there's, a, there's additional information here. I'm not sure that there's additional advice here. So the queen of wands is the Leo card to me. Uh, she's an enterprising queen. She has everything that she needs as far as material things. She's a great mother. She's a great uh, business person. And air signs are their entrepreneurs, their leaders. They kind of aren't the best employees because they just have so much energy, so many ideas themselves. They usually do better when they... Uh, take their own idea and run with it and create a company or something. So what this tells me is this idea It's just additional information and it's saying um, It's an it's an entrepreneurial idea. It's not a job It's something that you're going to transform your life with through your own entrepreneurial spirit your own business savvy um, but you are going to make it work so and this is just saying unfortunately you don't get to see the whole staircase today it's it's slow moving energy right but you do have to take the leap of faith you're gonna have to just not knowing 
how you're gonna make it happen, not knowing timings of things, not knowing exactly what to do. Anybody I think that has ever started a business will probably tell you there were a million things that they did not know when they got started and they, ha they learned it along the way. And you're just, you're just gonna have to be okay with that. That you can, you can do this. It is an absolutely amazing idea. It absolutely will bring you fortune or whatever is fortune to you. Um, but you have to take a leap of faith to do it. And you should, because it is going to work. Whatever it is, it is going to transform your life. Um, well, how exciting, whatever this ends up being, please put a comment down below what it, well, don't put your idea down there, but later on, if this works out, please do come back and put your comment and let us know what you did that was so amazing and got you your fortune. I think that's fantastic. Good for you. All right. So that's all I have for pile four. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Namaste.